Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to show you this little dragonfly that I've uh, created uh, using lace. Uh, these are the applique se sections that I've cut out of this lace that I've just used on the Graphic 45 layout that I've done. Um, and you might think, oh god, what are you cutting it up for? Well, because I have, I've got quite a bit out of the material, uh, the uh, tablecloth. So if you ever find anything like this, or you've got anything like this, even the uh, the white wedding dress uh, appliques, just think about what you can do. And I've just created that uh, little dragonfly, which is quite cute and will look great anywhere. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now, how <laughs> how I um, get these beads on, don't ask, because they're quite difficult, but I'm going to do it anyway. Those won't go on because I've tried. <laughs> so it's just getting yourself a selection of beads. But I want to con I want to make a couple of these to go on a project, so they do have to match. And and this is all the broken jewellery that I uh, or Ray got me at the car boot. So what I'm doing is uh, just selecting these particular ones because they were misshaped and I like them. It gives it a little bit of um, I don't know. It just looks different, doesn't it? Now. Hopefully, because they're quite tight fitting. Throw that on the. That's it. So that won't come off. Uh, and then all I do is just thread them on. Like that. I'm trying to keep the wire straight. And I'm just using. It's just ordinary wire. I don't know what gauge it is, but it, um, as long as it's flexible, of course, and not too loose. I'm not sure I can. Just get these on. You kind of like wind them on a little bit. <laughs> and they come off the other end. <laughs> now I'll glue it in, Ninny. But just put them on anyhow. Um, I mean, I glued that one on anyway, but um, some of them are, are pretty tight fitting. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is you just take your uh, fabric and we can move that out of the way a minute and um, obviously I need two that lay flat so that's these two I could iron them but I, I haven't got time for that and just snip them out so if you've got wedding dress material uh, appliques or something like that you know make some of these I mean, these aren't very long, but I could add, and I might do yet, some tulle. So take your glue on the end. Oops. Uh, and just push that into the bead. Like that. Turn that upside down. Make sure you get them the right way around. Not like me, <laughs> who never does it right. See, just like that. <laughs> so, and then all I'm going to do is just actually press them into the bead. Now, I'm not going to worry about that because um, that little bit there, I'm going to bend it though. Let's bend it the other way. Like that, and then bend it back. I think, I just think it gives it a... A little bit of look if they've got it slightly bent like that um, and then what I'm going to do is just pop a little flower um, if I can find two brown ones no. oh brown go with pink maybe maybe not oh no wait a minute I've got a little lighter one that will go with that. Um, let me just get it out. There they are. Some tiny buds. Uh, and again, you're just getting that shabby chic look. Or vintage, whichever you want to uh, go with. Let me just see if these uh, wrong scissors to cut with. I could leave them as they are, but I don't. I want to uh, 
because I'd hide that little area there. Oh, look. Oh. See how one little flower can make that extra touch look special. Oh, that's brilliant. And I love those. So just have a look round in your stash. Look for your um, appliques or even lace. Um, and all you need to do with lace, if it's floppy lace, is turn it on its back, um, upside down and put some wire. Put three strands of wire out, which will support the lace. And then at least you can bend your uh, wings however you want them. But I do like that. I think that's really pretty. So there's another tip for you. Make your own shabby sheet ones. Don't buy things if you can make them. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to encourage you all to craft and make things yourself. Where? How much would they cost you in a shop? I know people say, well, you've got the material there, Fee. No, it's not a case of that. Go and look at your laces. Everybody carries laces. See what you can turn into that. You know, it's great. Love them. Uh, oops, sorry, put them there. Hope you've managed to see all of that. Uh, that's it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.